Okay. So we're making the oven and I guess the interior of the oven. So I guess they're kind of like this. I'll take this front face, control E, um, attach an offset. And then I'll press G to repeat the tool, bring it in, see it turns black, no good. Pull it back just slightly. Ah, we're good. All right. We have this now. I would um when it comes to the rack, I guess we could just do it with the cube. I don't think we need to go too crazy. I guess you could do this with the cylinder if you really wanted to. But we'll just do it with the cube. So I'll just go like this. And of course I could just like, kind of just take it to this point, hit it with some vertex to give it that width. And then, you know, what we could do, we could do some duplicate special. So what direction is this? This is X file, uh, not file, edit, um, duplicate special. Oh, we could even do instances, right? So X is here, Y, we don't want nothing, Z, we don't want nothing. Let's see what 10 does, apply, too far spread out. Let's see what one does, apply, still too far spread out. Let's see what point six looks like, almost, it's 2.5. Perfect. All right. So close this. I got all these instances. Um, control D. Yeah, I'll do another one, right? I think stove's got three. No, nah, I think they just got two. But whatever. And then we'll do a control D, right? And we'll go E. Hold down J. Woo hoo hoo. J. Why is it doing that? Okay, that ain't working. All right, but anyway, you know you gotta make the little cross section going the other way. So let's just make this door now, control D, move this out. So I just copied this whole thing just to, Kill everything. Actually, should have kept this one. Only reason I did this was for the position. All right. Um. So, actually, I guess I should have took the back door because the back one is the real position. So I'll take this Control E. Extrude this out. Um, no, nah, I shouldn't have done that. I'll do this. I'll take my knife tool and cut myself out a nice little window or something. I think I duplicated this and didn't go back far enough. Yeah. So here, here. And of course, you know, you should do this. Um, if you use the, if you want to get it perfectly correct, I, my tool doesn't work because my screen isn't showing, but if you go to mesh, edit mesh, edit mesh, uh, insert edge loop, and then if it hits it with, okay, I just got lucky in minus two, so it means it's evenly spaced. You hit it with some scale, you bring it back, all right? So what you do now, we'll... I want this to be my window, so I'll choose these two and make this smaller. Okay. Now punch a hole through here, control E, drag it out. And we might as well bevel this up, bevel, segment to two or more. 
perfect. Same thing with this one, edge. Segments of two or more. And then I just put this here. I would let me thinning this up a little bit. All right. Then we need to make some glass. So you could just take a plane and do this. Sometimes I take a box and just do it. So we're going to delete all these other faces. Ooh. Faces? All those. Delete. Or you know what I could have done? Just made it thin. Because that's all I'm trying to do. I was just going to do that with extrude. I guess I'm used to doing things that way. Put it where it needs to be. Middle mouse button. Put it on vertex. I'm going to select these, then go into this other view just to see where it's at. Pull it down here. Same with these. Pull it up. Push it in. Push it in. So we have our piece of glass. Right here. And if I isolate it, see what it is. So you would model that interior. And then when we get into lighting, what we would do is we would put a light on the inside. You know what, just to give you a little touch, a little preview of what's to come, uh, I'll show you. Um, go to Arnold, go to this, lights, area light. Drag this up, E. Hold down J, move this 90 degrees. So you see, um, oh, and also, so this is a light. Like I said, I'll go into all this next class. But um, this shows the direction in which it's facing. So we'll put it like here. And for those people, I forget who, um, just because there's so many names who couldn't get Maya to work. I hope you got Renderman. Um, whoever the person or persons were who couldn't get this to work. So now that there's a light in here, I'll press play. No shading groups. Let me see this. If I select all this, assign new material, Arnold, the yeah, standard surface. Inherit transfer, what? I'm seeing some weird messages. Uh, go right here and I press play. Oh, this isn't working. Morning render terminating early. Well, what's supposed to happen is, is a window is supposed to come up. I don't know why this isn't happening. Let me see if I go over here. Rendering expert and I try it here. Will it work? Yeah, for whatever reason, my thing is not. Uh... Trying to work as it's supposed to. Um. So go back here, I'll do it again. Uh, area light, bring this up. E, hold down J. R for scale, scaling it up. I'll look at it like this. And I should be able to go to rendering And then go to 
Okay, it's showing up. I go to Arnold. There's another window for this that goes faster, but this one isn't like, I'll just have to investigate that because I didn't know this was going to render so slow. But um, yeah, this is just the process of adding lights to the scene. And um, yes, now that there's one in the inside, just to show you, if I go to this area light right here, and let's see, I make this, this like purplish kind of color, all right? I press play, you should see the effect of the light on the inside. It should look like pinkish. Yeah. So we can do that and make it, uh, you know, have like a warm kind of color from the inside. And uh, yeah, you know, simulate a warm stove or, you know, you could have your, your shaders in there. Um, dark, you know, some stoves are black and glossy on the inside. We can do that too. So we can make it, uh, I guess, look exactly how you want, how that stove looked in the in the reference. So yeah, that's how you do it. You model out the um, the inside. You could even put something in there if you want, like a pot or something like that. And then we just have the lights. You could put one right there. You could also put uh, Control D, another one, because this is what I had to do for my scene. If you're not getting enough light, you can put another one here and maybe even put two on the inside, you know, from this uh, wall and this one. And then that'll also give you uh, entirely like different look. I don't know what that is in the middle. So let's see what this looks like. Rendering standard. Oh, we are rendering standard. Uh, can't believe this button doesn't work. Oh, okay, now it's working. Can you all see this window? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is what wasn't working before, but now works. So yeah. So we can go in and yeah. And so this is the process of lighting and I can make these light, dark, whatever color I want. And this is the stuff you don't have to UV. You don't have to UV like a pipe or something like that, or something that's chrome. You don't have to UV that stuff. You just have to UV like the floor, the wood, if you have labels, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. But we can get away if it's like one solid color or if it's like a material, just doing it like this for certain parts. So there won't be no UVing the interior or the, um, I guess the rack is what you call it. Know that. But I did that. 